I think my role for the internet was, uh, you know, I was part of the, I was lucky to be part of the uh, people who, met, who spread the internet through Southeast Asia. Uh, you know, like I was the first one, I, I brought the uh, internet to Thailand. That was uh, the, the reason why uh, I've been recognized. That was more than 25 years ago. So at that time, uh, nobody knew uh, about the internet or the, you know, even uh, uh, to use the, the um, ex existing uh, telephone for email. That type of uh, technology was totally new. So uh, introducing technology to, uh, to a country which was not aware of uh, the possibility was not easy. It was very, t very tough to do. And uh, once uh, people started to know about you know, this new technology, uh, the ex existing uh, telecommunication operator were afraid of the impact to, on their business. So, uh, we had to all the time try to live with that under that condition, which is not easy. <laughs> so that was the, the challenging part of our task, to be able to um, introduce the technology to the public, and at the same time, we need to uh, be able to uh, work out with the telecommunication operator that uh, we have to look into the, for the benefit of the whole country instead of, you know, looking at their business alone. I always see the internet as sunny, <laughs> and um, I, you know, uh, there are so many exciting things that happened throughout this the past twenty over, you know, almost thirty years for me, and it's always sunny. Even though there's many challenging problems, something that there's a lot of issues that you never looked at before, and the internet. When once you have internet technology coming in, you started to ask yourself and try to clarify to, with yourself, you know, what kind of uh, the you know, on the impact of the internet and made you, which made you understand your society even better. So I always view. Uh, this uh, positive, uh, in a positive uh, point of view, and I think it's always a need. I, as it is sunny, um, I don't fear anything. I like the sun. <laughs> so, uh, because uh, I think, uh, you know, whatever, uh, you know, whatever technology you, you bring in, there's always a negative side of that. And if you start uh, fearing that negative aspect, uh, and which you kind of, um, which prevent you from doing any uh, other interesting things, uh, I think you are, uh, you know, you are not going the right track. I think the best way is uh, try to understand the te new technology and its impact, and how we can try to accommodate that in our society and in um, you know making sure that people would benefit more from the technology than the negative impact uh, greatest hope is that i want the internet to be you know I, I would like everybody to be able to access the internet and you know as cheapest or you know, as as a basic infrastructure for all and with that, with that, that kind of society, uh, you find that, uh, you know, many of the problems in, in our society today uh, should be, should, should, not, uh, should not happen, like corruptions in our government and all this type of thing, because things will be more open to the public and people would find it harder to do uh, things that they used to do in the past. And I think that is the positive aspect of an open society that the internet brought.
right now, as you could see, that there are many uh, organizations that try to, uh, you know, to address the issue of internet and society, like uh, internet governance program and uh, inter I, even uh, on the uh, resources of the internet by the organization like ICANN and so on. So we should encourage people to participate in this kind of process. Uh, the, the, you know, this, kind, oh, this type of uh, organizations are new and they are, the model of the multi-stakeholder model is new and it is something we should try to make it work. And once that work, I think it's a good channel where uh, peop everybody can try to, you know, get the best out of the technology for all, for the majority, because it's it's the multi-stakeholder that everybody can get involved in the de decision. Uh, at the moment, I'm just a normal professor in computer science, and you know I. Uh, I conduct, um, I re lead a research group that uh, concentrate on uh, uh, networking in a disaster, uh, post-disaster environment. This type of uh, activity uh, which is uh, trying to provide answers to, uh, you know, the upcoming uh, natural, uh, free, the more frequent uh, natural disaster that's uh, in, uh, occurring in our region at the moment. So I think uh, that is my role. I don't focus, I don't try to project um, anything much longer. I just concentrate on my today's interest and that is what I'm doing. I don't know whether I answer your question. Um, I guess is there anything else mm -hmm. uh, you'd like to add about what you think is gonna be the future of the internet? Um, that, the future of the internet for me is um, uh, I could not say anything uh, specific, but to me, uh, as I, I kept telling you, I, can, I see the internet as, you know, as always sunny. So uh, to me, future in the internet is still sunny. And people, uh, if the, all this kind of multi-stakeholder model works well, I think uh, we are on the right path.